Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited because today we are acting to CLC and I am so happy because I've been seeing the teasers everywhere on Instagram and on Twitter and I love these girls so much. They're one of my favorite girl groups ever. Um, I have loved every single one of their title songs. Um, I know they gained more traction with Hobgoblin but and then so on after that but probably one of my favorite songs from them is their debut song with Pepe. I remember my friend showed me that. That was the first MV song that I've ever heard for them and I was obsessed with these girlies. They are so talented and so beautiful and I'm so excited to react to them today because it's gonna be my first reaction of CLC on this channel. I actually did react to um, their last comeback with no, but that was one of the reactions that um, I filmed and I didn't get up because of school and everything like that. So I do apologize for that. But here I am today with the reaction to me and I'm just as excited to see them. And I've been hearing really good things about this. I'm assuming it's going to be another hard hitting song. I've already listened to the teaser and everything, but everyone has shook, been shook and it seems to the general public, everyone likes it. I haven't really checked the charts or anything like that, but like internationally, they got it going. But yeah, let's just get right into this. girlies looking beautiful in that like those coats <laughs> band-esque coats oh oh this bee oh okay hi oh okay no That part. Singing with short hair though. She's a queen. But she's my bias, guys. Ooh, okay. Hi, Storm. <gasps> my girl's getting blind. That beat drop, dude. Oh, yes. Get it. I love it. I love this part here. I don't know. It's catchy, too. I like that. Oh, She's a total badass queen. Oh my god, they're literally serving. Oh my god, she's so grown up. <sighs> From like the build up to like the beat drop in the chorus. I don't know, I just kind of wasn't expecting that. Like it goes so hard, like it's so weird. Yes, girl, give it to me. Ugh, they slay everything. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, yes, harmonization. Okay. Yes, add a little bit, honey. These dresses, though. Bro, this <laughs> CLC. What? They really hold on. Hold on. Okay, guys, after I listened to it a second time, I love it even more. I think I like this a lot better than No, too. 
even though like no was like a showstopper there were so many good stuff like parts in that song that like kind of hit me but like this one like it's so interesting because it starts off kind of like tropically ish like a tropical type song and then like the in not the intro the chorus like beat the beat drop like goes so hard and like I don't know, it's catchy as well. Like they're, they're saying like, Adam down me, Adam down me, yeah, Adam down. Like it just continues. Like, I don't know. I like catchy parts of the song and they were able to put like a catchy part into their chorus, which is always a plus for me. And like, I don't know, they all sounded really good. Obviously their stage presence is all there. It's ridiculous. They're so talented at like, facial expressions and just giving it to me they were honestly slaying it so hard every single member oh my goodness i remember so he looked so beautiful i remember I, it was like the dance scene where they're like and they're like um their like double breasted coat type situation the band coats or whatever and like her hair is in a ponytail with her bangs i don't know she's a queen i love her i think she's so beautiful oh my god um but just like in general she sounded amazing she kind of i feel like she got a little bit more like vocal parts or like more standout parts than she usually gets sometimes in the songs so i'm really glad for that and i just overall the song sounds so good the dance looks so sexy and so cool like i don't know i have to watch the entire like full like practice or like full performance and everything like that but just like from the chorus and everything like they be they be given it honestly but they always go hard honestly um and then honestly like my favorite part like okay Let's talk about Yin for a second. She is so, I, like, I, I'm gonna say talented so many times because it's hard not to like describe this group as talented. Like, they're all so talented, it's ridiculous. But Yin, oh my bro. Like, she had the short hair again, but like in her rap sequence, she had her hair, like it was a long ponytail, long blonde, blonde ponytail. She was like, there was a clock thing behind her and she had like the little ticking, the little, um, the hands of the clock on her and she was and I, like i can't describe her like she's so cute like if you've ever seen any type of video of her just like speaking in general like her speaking voice is so adorable and so cute just her personality in general is cute but when she raps when she does any type of performance there's just a switch like she literally the definition of doing both like i i can't stress it enough like the switch that goes on in this chick's head, like, it's ridiculous, but she really goes so hard. I like, she's like, I can't control myself, something like that. I'm just like, girl, you hot, you hot. Um, but she did so cool. Elki, amazing, love her. And then Songhyun, this bitchy, she really, she really be getting it. I swear, every single comeback, she's just like, her eyes are so entrancing, like, she, she stared like if she stared into me i'd be intimidated like she has like some very like intimidating eyes but like she is such a talented performer i can just feel the oozing charisma from her but yeah and then Unbin, oh my god my little daughter she's grown up like i remember when they added um elki and Unbin to the group and i was a little on the fence because i was like ot5 and everything like that before and it was really weird to see like new members being added to the group but i'm honestly so glad that Unbin and elki were added to the group because i feel like they add a little bit more of a dynamic to the group that they probably didn't have when they were like five members and you know i honestly enjoy Enjoy them together and I think it all happened for a reason I'm so glad they're together all as a seven so anyways um but yeah my favorite part though has to be I think it was like the start off of the bridge I think before the last chorus was after the second chorus and it started off with Yujin and she started singing and then I believe Sungyun came in and then Sorn came in so like they kind of did like a switch off kind of thing or like it was Yujin and then Sungyun and then Sorn and then they all collectively I think Yujin and Sungyun and Sorn collectively sang a part together or I don't know if like all the other members came together and sang the part but I just kind of like that whole like switch off and like singing together type aspect if you understand if you recognize the part that I'm talking about but that part was that was my favorite part because it adds something to it like I was just like oh okay 
we're getting we're, we're doing something here are we and then they just go off into the chorus and it's just like oh like they do a little more and then they go off into the chorus kind of slows it down a bit but adds a little bit of momentum as well and i was just like okay okay girls i'm ready like they prepared me really well for the last chorus and that's what i appreciate i guess um but that was my favorite part i'm so happy that they're finally back like i was so excited when they um drop the teasers or, or i saw it first on their instagram and i was like already um i can't really remember how long it's been since no but i'm really glad that she was actually giving them a job because um my girls are super talented and they deserve to be employed so we're not gonna have a whole year go by with no comeback so i'm glad that we've gotten two this year and i'm kind of upset that it's only a single but i'm sure there's probably one more song with it but um I'm still upset at the fact that it's not a full um, or a mini album or whatever, but you know, I'll take what I can get. I'm glad that they're finally even back and having a comeback soon after no. So, you know, that's all that I can be grateful for as a Cheshire, you know, that's all that matters, but I'll be looking out for that next mini album or perhaps a full album because if i am correct i believe that they have not had a full album yet and i think it's about goddamn goddamn time that they have a full album so cube let's get on that um but yeah i'm super glad and it seems like with the direction that they're going in um more heavily towards like the more hard-hitting dance centric like type of genre that I can see more girl crush as I, I don't know if I could really describe this as girl crush though like it has an element to it but there's just something about it that's more like it's a step up from girl crush you know what I mean like badass bitch kind of crush um that's how I would describe it but it seems like they're kind of going in that route in that direction and I really do like that route because you know Hobgoblin got them a lot of traction and they actually had a comeback right after Hobgoblin and it was with Where Are You and I personally I love that song probably one of my favorite title tracks from them um but that one didn't gain as much of attention as Hobgoblin did you know so it's really sad to see them go from really high everyone hyping them up and then kind of like forgetting them after Odia so um it was kind of upsetting but then they came back with black dress and then everybody was on the CLC hype train again and then they've kind of like learned kind of from their mistakes I guess um and then after black dress we kind of got a, like a a long a long long hiatus until no um came, finally came out but you know black dress and no kind of had like the same kind of similar aspect plus with gobl hobgoblin so and then now with me so i definitely see the direction that they're going in and, and i honestly think that they're going to stick with it because i feel like that's what gives them the most momentum in terms of like of uh, like um attraction from the general public and like international fans and stuff like that so i really think that they're gonna stick with that and i don't mind it because i do love this kind of concept on them on them but i hope that you know if they do try to do something different that others will pay attention to it just as much as they pay attention to these kind of comebacks so yeah that's just like two cents on like clc and whatever but um yeah, that's all I guess I really wanted to say. I probably said way too much. My voice is getting really tired when I talk too much because I don't usually talk this much. But when I talk about a group like this, it's, you know, it warrants a little bit more talking. But yeah, to avoid this video from being way too long, I'm just going to stop here right then now. Please support CLC. I love my girlies and, you know, oh, I'm just so happy for them. But another great comeback for them. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.